Last year, many students differed on their CXE exams as they were afraid of failure due to their level of readiness. This year, Mr. Wilson and his experienced team from tcpacademy.teachable.com is here to help you get exam ready. Subscribe for free to tcp-academy.teachable.com. We offer courses in CXC Biology, HSB, English Language, and many others. There are several offerings to each course. Enroll in one today. Today we're looking at the January Human and Social Biology paper for 2024. We would have done all questions already, or several questions already. We're looking at question number four in this video. If you have not yet liked, share, or subscribed, it is definitely time to do so. I've seen a lot of persons watching, but it's not converting to like our subscription and then that definitely affects how many videos we produce. We produce these videos. Remember to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell and select all so you'll be notified as soon as a new publication is available. We want you to also check out our books on Amazon. We have some kids book on Amazon. We want you to check out also our lab books on Amazon. Now, please be reminded there are some ads that will come up at the end of the video. You might have seen one at the start of the video. If you're watching for the first time and you don't have a teacher for biology or human and social biology, you can sign up with us for the last week's full new academic year. All our classes are online, so we keep right across the area. Let's hop right into the content. So we're required to define the term pollutant. A pollutant is a harmful substance, or it could be a form of energy that causes unfavorable changes to the environment. And a form of energy, if you are looking at power plants releasing hot water into water bodies. Now the hot water, of course, is going to reduce the amount of oxygen in the water, and it will also cause a lesion on the skin of those marine animals. So of course it's going to kill the marine animals. So there we have energy being a form of pollutant. And then you would have known about all the other forms of energy, your sulfur oxide, your carbon oxide, your nitrogen oxide. You would have known about those along with the solid pollutant, DOC, uh, dust, particles, all of those you would have known about. And solid waste, you'd have known about Identify one example of an agriculture pollutant and give example of a, give one example of an industrial pollutant. Here we're looking at agricultural pollutant. Uh, pesticides are going to be common uh, pollutant for agriculture. And the pesticides range from your herbicides, your fungicides, your nematicide, your rodenticide, and the list continues. And then we have our synthetic fertilizer. Uh, those are also pollutant. And of course, they will get into the soil. Uh, when it rains, then we'll have leaching. We'll have surface runoff. And of course, it's going to our water bodies, our rivers, and so on. And then it will increase the nutrient content leading to eutrophication. Then we have industrial pollutant, which of course, we could look at all the oxides carbon we could look at carbon monoxide we could look at carbon dioxide itself which is of course going to be combining with our water and of course creating uh, acid or uh, acidifying the water body and that would of course um, marine life and those um, organisms that have shells which would of course thin cause the shells to be broken then we have our Sides of nitrogen. Nitrogen itself is not really a greenhouse gas, however, the oxides are. And then we have smoke. Yes, smoke is a suspended particle, it's a solid, and that's a pollutant. And then we are going to be having our VOCs, volatile organic compound. Those are, of course, pollutant. And we have also dust particles, like from a cement factory and so on. Those are going to be, of course, examples of industrial pollutant. 
stay too harmful effect of air pollution. Now, air pollution would, of course, enhance greenhouse warming or global warming. Um, of course, again, it will cause acidification of water bodies. You might observe in some cases where are asked for one exam, but we're giving you several. You should not do the same in the exam. Different persons will find different things to remember, so we can as much as possible. Not just to stick to one case, but just to give more. And this is just for training purposes. If you are answering your exam, just do what is asked. Caribbean Sea supports third seven nation state and is considered one of the habitat most seriously damaged by human activity. In two ways in which pollution of the Caribbean Sea could affect its region's economies. A uh, pollution, of course, many type. Uh, you might have known about the Dead Sea at the end of Mississippi, where it just doesn't support life. You might have known about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Now, when this blocks, of course, light entering the water body, it will, of course, kill the aquatic plant and plant like organism. Thus, our herbivore, marine herbivore, will not be able to feed, and then this is, of course, but it could also be toxic and could to of course cause uh, fish kill. You know about the X and Valdex oil spill and so on. Now that could cause major uh, kill to our fish stock or marine life. When this happens, it's of course going to reduce our fish stock. And if we reduce our fish stock, then naturally we're going to reduce our catch. And if we reduce our catch, ultimately that will reduce the income of our fisher food. And of course, that's going to be communities, families, and ultimately the government. Now, polluted water will make it less favorable. It will make us a less favorable destination for tourists, thus reducing foreign exchange earning for the region. So you can look at the fact that we're going to be losing fish and losing the catch, the money there from the catch, uh, and all the other money that are associated with fishermen, probably they are being licensing, uh, probably they are licensing their vessel, insuring the vessel. So the money chain just get broken. And then we're here for us tourists. We're here for the beauty of the Caribbean. So we want to immerse ourselves in that. We want to do all the snorkeling and the glass water and board and all of that. But then it become polluted. It's going to be less favorable for anybody. I recommend three actions that could be taken by the Caribbean government to help protect for those persons who will be doing environmental search, remember these are also what we refer to as follow-up activities. Our recommendation in your journal, it might be AGRI, it might be HSB, if that's some recommendation that might be uh, necessary for what you're doing. So we want to ensure proper treatment of sewage before releasing it into our water bodies. Um, if we release the sewage in our water body, not treat it, then we are going to be releasing pathogen into the water that will, of course, affect those persons and organisms in the water. We're supposed to use organic fertilizers instead of inorganic fertilizer and chemical fer fer inorganic chemical fertilizer. So the organic fertilizer will naturally break down, but the synthetic fertilizer, or the chemical fertilizer, will last longer so that they are persistent. And these will, of course, cause environmental fallout. Now, introduce more public education programs to the citizens. Now, if persons understand their role in protecting the environment, and of course, the effect of their action, then more than likely, we'll have more persons buying into. Rebecca lives in a rural area with many rivers and she observes that several fish and plants in the waterway are dying, but she can find no evidence of water pollution while, while watching the evening news. She learns that air pollutants are being blown into the area 
from the city and the city is 50 miles away so 50 miles away tells us that it is industrialized and we are producing we're going to be having our sulfur oxides in the air we're going to have our nitrogen oxides in the air we're going to be having increased carbon oxides in the air we're going to be having our vocs volatile organic compounds suspended there in the air we're going to be having suspended particulates in the air all of which is moving to the wind. Now, moving to the wind, when these gases, the nitrogen oxide, the sulfur oxide, the carbon oxide, these dissolve in our water bodies, they are going to cause the water bodies to become um, acidified, and that will, of course, cause a different organism. Now, when the particulates fall out of the air, smoke, etc., and when these fall out of the air in our water body, they are going to be going down into the water. And of course, they are going to be blocking the sunlight, thus reducing the rate of photosynthesis, ultimately killing the plant. So as soon as it's a lot on the leaf, they tend to block the sunlight. Over time, we have reduced photosynthesis and ultimately the death of the plant. That's all we have now. If you have not yet, like here or subscribe now i want you to tell me from which caribbean island you are watching are you a student or a teacher remember to check out our books online we have books at amazon to find the books just type in your author name ricardo Wilson, or you can follow the ads with follow remember to watch the video to the very end there are going to be two videos at the end of the end screen that you can click on to see more videos on this particular paper. Until we next meet, you are good.